this is Julie. In this video we're going to take a look at expanded notation problems. So here's the typical problem that you might see um, around expanded notation. We are supposed to write the number 24,516 in expanded notation. So first of all we need to know what expanded notation is. Well expanded notation is a way of writing numbers that really emphasizes the place value of each digit. So what we do with expanded notation is we look at each digit in the number and we're going to write out that digit and its place value. Um, and then in between each digit and place value we're going to put a plus sign. So if I'm doing the number 24,516 I'm going to start with the 2 because it's the first number and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that the place value of the 2 is the 10,000's place and I know that because I can count backwards from the 1's place here and I can see that um, the 6 is in the 1's place, the 1 is in the 10's place, 5 is in the 100's place, 4 is in the 1000's place, and the 2 is in the 10,000's place. So if I'm writing this out in expanded notation I'm going to say that I have 2 10,000's and then I'm going to put a plus sign um, the next digit over is the 4, and the 4 we said was in the thousands place, so I have 4 thousands. I'm going to put another plus sign. The next digit is the 5, and it's in the hundreds place. kind of running out of room here so I'm going to go down to another line so I'm putting a plus sign. Um, next digit is the 1 and the 1 is in the tens place so I've got 110 and then the last thing, last digit I have here is the 6 and the 6 is in the ones place so I have 6 ones. And so that's the expanded notation version of this number. Um, and if you think about it, if I were to add this all up, if I were to add up two ten thousands, um, that would be twenty thousand, plus four thousands, that would be twenty four thousand, plus five hundreds would be twenty four thousand five hundred, plus one ten would be twenty four thousand five hundred ten, and then if I were to add six ones onto that I'd have twenty four thousand five hundred sixteen, and that would be the same as the number that was originally given to me. So that's what expanded notation looks like and you can see that with uh, really large numbers it's going to get a little bit tedious uh, to write that all out but we'll actually take a look at what one of those will look like. Um, this time we're going to write the number 102,599 in expanded notation and this number um, will actually have a little twist in it so we're going to do it two different ways. Um, first thing I'm going to look at here is my first digit is 1 and the 1 in this number is in the 100 thousands place so I'm going to say that my first digit here is one. I have 1 hundred thousand And now I have, um, I've got a zero in the ten thousands place and so this is where the sort of little twist comes in. I have two different ways that I can do this. One thing I could do is I can actually say that I have zero ten thousands. And then I could just keep going. I've got two thousands. Let's see if I can fit this on here. and then I have five hundreds and I have nine tens and I have nine ones. Okay, So that's one way I can write that number out and, and if you like to make sure that you're accounting for every digit in the number then you can definitely include the zero in the ten thousands place here. Um, the other thing that I could do if I didn't want to have to write quite so much is I could say that I have one hundred thousand plus I could skip over that zero ten thousands because I have zero ten thousands. Really the next thing I'm adding on here is two thousands. Five 
500s. Plus, let's move down to the next row here, um, nine tens and nine ones. And that would be another uh, correct expanded notation version um, of the number 102,599. Um, one thing to notice about uh, expanded notation is that when we write out the digits of the numbers, we are just writing the digits. We're not putting them into words. So I'm writing, you know, one, zero, two, and then um, only writing out the place values in words. So hundred thousand, ten thousands, thousands. Uh, and so on. Let's look at one last example uh, where things get kind of turned around. So in this last example now, uh, rather than being given a regular number um, or a number in standard form, which we haven't really defined yet, but standard form is just sort of the normal way of writing a number, um, we're given expanded notation and we're going to turn around and write that number in standard form. So I'm going to kind of just think backwards from what I was just doing. Um, I'm starting off with a number uh, with three millions. So I know that three million, the millions place comes right before a comma. So that means I'm going to have a three and then a comma. And then if I think about what comes next, I've got two hundred thousands. Well, the next place is the hundred thousands place, so I'll put my two there. Um, and then the next place over would be the ten thousands, and it's telling me that I've got four ten thousands, so I'll put a four. Uh, and then the next place over would be the thousands. Now notice that in my expanded notation here, I'm jumping straight to hundreds. So that means I'm going to have a zero in the thousands place, and then a six in the hundreds place, and then a nine in the tens place, and an eight in the ones place. So in standard form, or in the normal way of writing a number, uh, this number would be three million two hundred forty thousand six hundred ninety eight and that makes sense with the expanded notation uh, that I was given for that number. So that's expanded notation. In the next video we'll take um, a look at writing words uh, or numbers in what are called word names.